Mississippi for some college softball on the SEC Network. Tonight on campus at Mississippi State, it's day one of the Bulldog Invitational as Mississippi State, the 21st ranked team in the nation, takes on in-state rival, the Golden Eagles of Southern Miss. Ability to throw strikes early on and make batters chase and two pitches in, already two strikes. See if she can keep it up the rest of this one. She gets the strikeout on three pitches. Although I never saw the illegal pitch call happen in real time. Hannah Borden, meanwhile, pulls one through into left field for a single. And the Golden Eagles have their first hit of the night just underway in Starkville. Bouncer sharply hit over to third, knocked down, picked up, but not in time. No throw attempted. And that should be scored. Well, I. Bouncer. Deep to short, they're gonna to throw to third and get the lead runner there. Nicely done by the Bulldog infield. As Add a couple more there. Off speed and there's the swing and a miss. Good job by Marin to get out of the jam. Her second strikeout of the inning. No score through the top of the first. Here it is. And she moved over from the other Bulldogs are there in Ruston, Louisiana. Bounces one over to short. Throw to first is there just in time. And B clearly have done this before because they came prepared. Up the middle. What an at-bat for Barbary. And she has State's first single, first hit of any kind. Center field very low. Didn't look like it hit the ground until it went to the outfield, though. Cook hits one high in the air. Should be caught, though, and is caught at the track in center field by Gordon. So Cook didn't waste any time for Mississippi State. Hits one high, hits one deep, hits one to the wall, and gone! Madison Kennedy continues her offensive assault here in 2024, that's a two out, two run shot. And the dogs are on the scoreboard scoreboard first tonight, two nothing in the first. Yeah, you talk about that 407 batting average, that just went up, three home runs on the season now. Take a look at it and just right in the sweet spot, sends it into right center field and dogs lead early two to nothing. You saw Cook give it a ride been giving up a lot of hits on the year. That ball is lifted in the center field, and there's another hit, the third Bulldog hit of the inning. Give step credit over the course of the years at first. Aquana Brownlee is at the plate for the first time tonight. That ball down and in. Hawkins takes off for a second. Throw is just not quite there in time. It might have beaten her, but the tag just kind of the stuff you want to try and avoid, especially this early in a game with two outs. Brownlee hits one in the left. That will drive home the run. That makes that stolen base big as Hawkins scores easily on the two out single to left off the bat of Brownlee. Momentum and take that proverbial next step this year in the Sun Belt Conference as that ball gets away from Borden, the catcher, and Brownlee takes off for second. The dogs are what somehow. The 2-0 to Wesselowski hit high in the air, fairly deep, but being tracked by Gordon and caught in left center field. That'll end the inning. State, though, is able to score three runs on four hits. Yeah, and something special about the pitchers and the bullpen for Mississippi State is their ability to not give up. Numbers on the year for Marin, 4-0 and record in the circle, ERA of under 2, 1.95 as Gordon hits one high in the air, shallow and left coming in as St. Clair over 25 innings on the season. Now a slapper up there for USM. Allen hits the first pitch. 
out to Edwards. The Bulldog shortstop throws across in time, and that was a quick one, two, three, top of the second, as USM is in the home half of the second. That ball comes in and hits Edwards. Got her, I think, on the left elbow, right off that shield, and she'll take her free trip down to first base. Roll the lineup back up to Sacco and Barbary. Runner takes off, could be a hit and run. Ball though is hit out to left where Allen makes the catch and Edwards has to hustle back to the bag at first. One on, one gone. Just put a little too much under it and allowed Allen to make the play. So far against Logan Stett. Runner takes off, throw down is not in time. Second stolen base tonight for Mississippi State as Edwards goes in head first and get one out Sacco at the plate and she works the count full and then draws a walk good job by Sacco quality at bat your southern miss she now faces Barbary Barbary hits one high hits one deep is it fair or foul in left it is a fair ball it is long gone a three run blast off the bat of Nadia Barbary and the Bulldogs have opened things up here in the second. They now lead 6-0. Yeah, and I think you and I were both looking, is it fair, is it foul, is it fair, is it foul? And they're going to say it was fair, and boy, was it close. But that was, that was a heck of a hit. The only question was, would it stay fair? There was no doubt it was leaving the ballpark. You're not finding that ball if you're going. All talented right-hander with a bright future in Hattiesburg. Swing and a miss. Good pitch right there. She strikes out a good hitter in Paige Cook. One here. She's batting 444. So it's one high in the air again. Deep, but should be caught and will be caught on the track by Gordon. Kennedy almost had home run number two. So White comes in. Does her job. Gets top of the lineup, which is where we saw them, I don't want to say do some damage, but they were able to get some hits, able to get on base in that first inning. And for a minute, had your... Two on the top of the order hitter, Lauren Lindsay, the USM first baseman, swinging a miss right there. Throw down. Don't think they had to, though. First base umpire Shane Jackson said it was clean, but... Well over 300 on the year, 333 at the moment, and that will go up some more as she is now two for two tonight. And a really good at bat by the senior right-handed catcher, Hannah Borden. To be exact, if, if USM wants their offense to get better, they're going to need Taylor to really pick it up. And she gets fooled badly there and strikes out quickly. Obviously other games going on throughout the day, but a whole lot of action and News Park this weekend. So if you're a softball fan. This is a great weekend to be in Stark. Yeah, high is 21st in the country. A couple of things you mentioned earlier in the broadcast, Cody. The strikeout to walk ratio is white. Gets Brownlee to swing and miss. Just over 27 innings. There's a bouncer over to second. Throw to second in time. Relays, though, is not quite in time as Wes Olowski is able to hustle up the line. And but you get a full count with two outs now. Ball up the middle to second. They're going to get the force out at second. I think either way, they would be fine there to get out of the inning. But off the top of the fourth for the Golden Eagles. High fly ball deep to left. Should be caught, though, by St. Clair. And it is at the warning track as Agner gave it a ride. And she strikes out once again, swinging. So she has gone down swinging twice tonight. On it, so you take what you can get sometimes. The 2-2. Two -two. Same pitch, but this time it found the right spot. She froze Smith. The Riley St. Clair to lead off this half inning. Slow roller up the bag towards first, gloved, and Lindsay will take it herself for out number one. Yeah. Brooklyn White 
She's got herself two strikeouts, but she's been very... So far is filling that role well. Hits one up the middle, gonna be a tough play. Throw to first is not quite in time. McManus did everything she could, but Sacco too fast up the line. It might still be in orbit somewhere. It I mean, was. <laughs> wow. Runner takes off, throw down, not in time. Side, good take by Barbary. High fly ball, fairly deep in center, should be caught. Gordon makes the catch, tagging, and trying to go to third and getting there safely with a head first slide is Sacco. This caused some issues, has just really not allowed them anything. Cook hits one over the head of Taylor in right. That will score Sacco from third. Stand up double with two outs for Cook. Hole is sitting back on the rise ball right here. Oh, she went downstairs and missed. The ball got away, so Bernie takes off for third. And State's got runners at the corner. Then Salen Hawkins. She shows bunt. Runner takes off for second. No one covering second. And That'll be an easy stolen base for Hull. Speaking of stolen bases, they're actually gonna give credit for say one thing, and our home plate umpire Shane Jackson put up something different. Bouncing ball up the middle for a base hit. This should score two. Throw home, not in time. Throw out the second, is in time, however. So Hull and Bernie both score. Hawkins gets credit for a single. Just hasn't had to do a whole lot. Just Getting the call she needs and having her way. An efficient night for sure. Over to third, gloved by Barbary. Not an easy play, but Barbary gets the job done. With everything. Safe at first base is Allen on a ball that was rolled out to the brand new second baseman, the number eight hitter. And the Golden Eagles have a runner on with just one out here in the fifth inning. Yeah, and here's what we saw a moment ago, just not in time, a slow rolling ball. The player representing the second run, which could keep the ball game alive. Grounder out to short. Edwards flips the second to get the force out there of. Not half bad. If she can duplicate that, that would give USM their first run of the ball game. Runner was tagged out. Yes, she was. So the Bulldogs off the bouncing ball, hit by Hall, get the out of McManus. I couldn't tell if they called her out via the tag or a force out of second. Either way, well, she's out, the inning's over, and the ball game's over, and the Bulldogs have won nine to nothing. It looked like she could have been out three different ways. The initial she tag- She may have been. Yeah, the, the initial tag, the force at second, and then she was tagged at second as well, too. So, they, <laughs> just trying to make the right play in every way, because there wasn't a call until they called her out after all of that happened at second, but uh, just another dominant performance from the Bulldogs. Pitching went their way, hitting has been uh, the way it has been all season. It